Hey YouTube, what's going on guys? It's all day gaming here and today I'm gonna bring you on a, a tutorial or showing you a thing called Razer Game Booster. Now I use this in every single one of my videos and it really helps. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna have to um oops gonna go to the website so or you can go to Google I'm just gonna go to Google to see here and type in on Google <sighs> just a second Okay, type in Ray Razor Game Booster. Now, when you type that in, you're gonna search it, and you're gonna go here. It should be the second or first link. Then you're gonna take download for Windows, and then it's gonna download it, and then. You have to install it and set up, do the setup thing. Raise your setup thing. So when you're done with that, you're gonna get this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click on it. Double click on it. It's gonna open up. it will open there we go click yes and then a little tab will pop up and we'll say it's analyzing And then Minecraft isn't gonna be here normally, normally. But what you want to do is you're gonna click on Add, and then you're going to search for your game you want to have. So I would go if you have Minecraft on your home screen, you go to Home, and then I I would go to Games because that's where I keep all my games at. And then you go to Minecraft and you do open, but I already have that. And once it goes in here, it should be it should pop up as Minecraft EXE. And this works for any type of games, like such as Team Fortress 2, it even boosts team team speak. So after that you're gonna click on that and you're gonna do launch. And it says Razor Game Booster is boosting your game. And then you have to minimize this your tray in how many ever seconds. And then your game will be boosted. And if you do it correctly, it should game it should say gaming mode on and this should still be set up. And then what you want to do is log in. And I'm using my custom texture pack. And then you're gonna go to, and then this should be it. And I'll, I'll show you how it is on my server. So, no, it's not up right now. Um, so I'll be, I'll do it in just a second. All right, so my server's up, and I'm gonna click on it. Let me log in. And then it's a little laggy when logging in my server. Oops. Wait, let me, let me just log in. Alright, so I'm logged in, and then see how it's not really laggy? If I press Shift F3, you have 12 FPS. If you're not on a server like mine, which I have, um, let's see, 
32 plugins. That's that's a lot. Um, and I have a big spawn, a lot of areas, multi-world. It's gonna be laggy, but for sure it's not that much of lag. Now, let me take off Razor, and I'll show you what it's like without Razor. Alright, so I'm back on my server. Now look at how laggy this is without Razor. Yeah, see? This is bad lag. Let me see what I'm getting. I'm still getting normal 1 FPS, 6 FPS, 4 FPS. See how laggy this is? Yeah. So this is why Razor is good for Minecraft, and especially when you're recording Minecraft videos. So that's all I have for today, you guys. And um, thank you for watching. All the gaming out.